Sara, welcome in the Czech house. Oh, we are now in a piece we of are now uh, Czech guests. The best French, I'm going to not talk about only that. Europe. Not only in the Europe. Wait till you hear me. Uh huh. Unbelievable. They are the pictures from the visit of Thomas Garrick Masaryk in the Holy Land in 1927. Cooperation between the embassies. This is that far from here. This is exactly in the Masharim. It was a very anti-Semitic environment, but once he was playing with other boys in the school, and suddenly one of them was gone. And he was looking for him, and he found him outside praying. And the boy was Jewish, and he was amazed. We Christian boys, we are doing stupid things, and he's praying. What to start? I remember one part of Shakespeare. What do you read, my prince? Words, words, words. Maybe we all are politicians sometimes uh, produce plenty of words. But what you see is the action, is the deed. And that's why I want to express my sincerest thanks for the people who instead of words organized this candle against the darkness. Uh, I am uh, also the foreign minister, so I have to be diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the presence of uh, Ambassador of the United States, uh, David Friedman, and also uh, honored uh, delegate, the distinguished guests who are here, the Speaker of the Israeli Knesset, uh, Yuli Edelstein, uh, the Speaker of the Czech Parliament, uh, Radek Vondracek. We have uh, the elected Mayor of Jerusalem, Moshe Leon, uh, Deputy Foreign Minister Tzipi Chotoveli, our new ambassador uh, to Israel from uh, the Czech Republic and uh, these distinguished guests, but I am the foreign minister, so now I have to be diplomatic. You challenged me yesterday correctly. You said uh, that the Czech Republic uh, is the greatest friend of uh, Israel in Europe. And you said, why Europe? Okay, I'll amend it. <laughs> we have no greater friend than the Czech Republic in the <laughs> Eastern Hemisphere. <laughs> But there's a, a close race now about the two hemispheres. Uh, even though we value the enormous friendship we have with the American people, it's not even though. We value it and there is there's something similar about the friendship we have with the Czech people and Milos Zeman, who I think is unsurpassed in his friendship to Israel. And it is this. We have flourishing relations with countries of the world now, more and more. Yesterday, another one, uh, as you know, Chad and so on. But these relations, as is the nature of uh, international alliances, are based on commonality of interests. Interest for something, interest against something, and sometimes both, very often both. With the Czech Republic, as with the United States of America, there is something else. It's a deep, deep commonality of values which you so powerfully expressed. You said yesterday in a magnificent speech in the Knesset, magnificent, you said if we betray Israel, we betray ourselves. If we betray Israel, we betray ourselves. And you had said earlier, I am a Jew. These are words that are not, they don't come from the mind. They don't come from calculation. 
They come from the wellsprings of the heart. And no one in Europe understands so readily and immediately the situation of Israel and the challenge of Israel, a small beleaguered democracy that is courageously facing the challenges of an undemocratic neighborhood. That's an understatement. You understand it. But you don't simply understand it. You speak your mind and your heart, and you speak the truth. And I want to applaud you for this again. It is uh, no secret. No, I'll add one more. Okay, sure. I haven't finished. You know, I'll use some words. And then I'll talk about deeds. Uh, it's not a secret that I like people who are politically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> but who speak their mind and their heart. But I want to talk about deeds. We just passed through this amazing uh, exposition. Of Jan Masaryk, I consider him a modern prophet, like Herzl, uh, really the founder of the modern uh, Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia, now Czech Republic. Uh, that's almost 100 years ago. He came here with the same passion, the same sense of truth. Uh, and then a few decades later, we'll never forget that you supported us in the founding of our state in the UN vote among 33 countries, but then went further with deeds. That was words, then deeds. You gave us the weapons to survive when we had no weapons. We, had, we were David with a slingshot. <laughs> and even David with a slingshot cannot fight tanks and planes and artillery. You gave us better slingshots. We fought and we won, and we're eternally indebted to you. Now we're going through all the deeds, working with each other to make a better, more secure, more prosperous future for our peoples. But it's based on the heart. And our heart is grateful, more than grateful, is deeply, deeply appreciative of your friendship which uh, now I can say, and this is my close, you can, you can be ready for your next word. Here's what I suggest. We're now in November, late November. So I suggest next year in the Czech embassy in Jerusalem, and next year in Prague, we already have a tentative date. There is no better friendship. Maybe in both hemispheres. Thank you. Thank you, Milo. Okay, we can start. Three, two, one. No? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to declare the Czech House as official opened.